Good morning, good afternoon and good evening to all Denarians on the go and in the know. Like subscribe, and share with your fellow Denarian friends. If you have not already done so, pick up your free trial copy of the Currency Exchange Planner and check out the all-new Currency Exchange Planner Companion, voted the number one pre- and post rv planning tool for the Denar community. Also, download your free blockchain-based secure Brave browser, and get paid to surf the internet today. Both the links are in the description box below this video. First article of interest for today. Parliamentary economy. Resorting to the central reserve will not affect the exchange rate of the dinar. Member of the Economic and Investment Committee, MP Nada Shaker Jadat, confirmed on Sunday that Iraq's resort to withdraw funds from the central bank reserves is a natural right and that it will not affect the Iraqi dinar exchange rate because it is backed by a good cover of gold and a large oil reserve denying the government's feet to print out the paper currency. She added that, the government has the right to borrow money from the central bank reserves to fill its financial deficit, just like the rest of the world. She, explained that, the Iraqi government will resort to external and internal borrowing, including borrowing from the cash reserve in the Iraqi central bank. Jadat pointed out that, borrowing from the cash reserve will not affect the Iraqi dinar exchange rate because it is backed by a large reserve of gold and oil reserves, denying the rumors raised about the government printing the paper currency to pay salaries. Next article of interest, an invitation to activate the digital economy and work from home. The Iraqi economy, as well as the Iraqi market, are witnessing exceptional circumstances that call for adopting alternatives that will make things better and closer than they were before the spread of the coronavirus in recent weeks. And a group of specialists in economic affairs sees the necessity of adopting the best alternatives that suit the current stage, which is activating the digital economy and supporting ways and means of working from home with exceptional legal legislations. Digital Economy Digital economy is defined as the economy that is based on its overall operations on information, and is based in most of its steps on the use of information and communication technology, which remove barriers to the flow of information, goods, services and capital movement, to and from any point in the world, and at any time, and the digital economy allows to send and receive any amount of electronic currency instantaneously at any time and place. In this regard, the economic researcher Lubna Al-Shamari said that the widespread use of the Internet among the public and via mobile phones and computers has opened new horizons for work, including the possibility of working from home. Al-Shamari added to Al-Saba, working from home, especially in the government sector, needs to legislate and enact appropriate laws to enhance and activate this experience not only in times of crises and disasters, but at all times. She indicated that, activating work in this aspect would achieve advanced levels of achievement in employee productivity and save time and effort in carrying out transactions in the e-government. Financial Transactions Through the payment systems in the central bank's payment system, steps to enhance the role of financial inclusion are achieved through digital services provided by banks and electronic payment services providers as it represents an important dimension in the central strategy and automation of work through the use of electronic payment tools and encouraging the use of financial and banking services provided banks and online payment service providers and the economic academic dr majid al Baitani, believes the necessity of educating the public about the importance of dealing in cash over the phone through applications for mobile phone companies, which I started working on a few years ago. al Baitani added to al Saba that, many citizens are unaware of the way e-wallets have been launched by telecommunications companies in cooperation with the central bank through points of sale to transfer money and receive amounts to and from family and friends from the phone line in an effective and safe and comfortable manner. Electronic Shopping al Baitani indicated that, these services also allow the transfer of funds through the use of the phone line as well, along with the ability to shop online from electronic commerce sites in Iraq through the electronic payment portal, which allows the purchase of various types of goods, services and products, fashion, flight reservations and much more. al Baitani said, 
what the country is going through is exceptional circumstances and restrictions of movement to prevent the spread of corona. Electronic shopping over the phone will be safe in all respects, as it obviates going to crowded markets and places, and avoids dealing in paper money that may be one of the reasons for the spread of the virus, what achieves feasibility at the health level in economist. Next article of interest. The COVID-19 cash out. Digital currency. Because hand-to-hand -hand exchange of physical currency could transmit the coronavirus, countries around the world are being forced to reconsider the use of cash. In fact, COVID-19 might turn out to be the catalyst that finally brings digital payments fully into the mainstream. Not surprisingly, the digital payments industry is already focusing on the opportunities created by the crisis. China's government, for its part, has begun to disinfect and even destroy banknotes to mitigate the spread of the virus, at least in the short run. For example, Hong Kong's South China Morning Post reports that a local branch of the People's Bank of China in Guangdong province has been destroying money that may have circulated through high-risk settings such as hospitals and food markets. For fear of importing contaminated currency from Asia, the U.S. Federal Reserve has initiated quarantine measures for physical dollars from the region. Such actions are probably justified, considering that currency in circulation can indeed serve as a vehicle for transmitting pathogens, much like a mosquito. Studies have found that the human influenza virus, for example, can remain alive and infectious on banknotes for 17 days. Accordingly, it would not be unreasonable to assume that physical currency has played a role in spreading COVID-19 as well. In any case, many countries will be weighing the option of disinfecting, destroying, and reprinting currency. Whatever they decide, one outcome already seems certain. The coronavirus will accelerate an ongoing shift among younger populations toward digital payments, particularly in Asia, and specifically in China. This trend is already strong. As of the end of 2018, around 73% of Internet users in China used online payments services, up from 18% in 2008. Young populations tend to be more open to adopting new technologies, and China and Southeast Asian countries have significantly younger populations than Europe and the United States. Moreover, the Chinese government actively promotes its online banking infrastructure, whereas Western countries rarely use a top-down approach to governance, and have lagged behind Asian economies in adopting digital payments. There are internal and structural reasons for Western countries' slower adoption rates. For example, Europe doesn't have any large technology or financial companies involved in the digital payment sector. As such, European consumers and businesses must rely on services offered by large U.S. companies Apple Pay, Google Pay, PayPal, and so forth. But, owing to concerns about ceding critical sectors of the digital economy to U.S. tech giants, the European Union EU, has been taking a slower, more careful approach, favoring those changes that are least disruptive to the European financial transaction infrastructure. Cultural habits have also slowed the pace of change in the West. Americans and Western Europeans, in particular, are much more dependent on cash than are households in Asia. According to a recent survey by Deutsche Bank, one-third of respondents in developed economies consider cash to be their favorite payment method, and more than half believe that cash will always be around. Changing such culturally ingrained habits without risking public blowback takes time. Still, the global spread of COVID-19 might be moving the world toward a turning point in how it handles payments. It is too early to predict what changes might be coming, but they are likely to emerge as solutions to specific challenges within different national contexts, payment infrastructures, and demographic groups. Digital versions of cash currency, such as Sweden's recently announced e-krona, are promising examples of what could be in store. Beyond COVID-19 and the increasing acceptance of non-cash payments in stores, there are other reasons why people might want to switch to digital payments. The Deutsche Bank survey, for example, found that convenience plays an important role in a person's choice to go digital. 
digital wallets are free and easily available. Going digital could also help track spending and manage budgets. In terms of security, going cashless reduces the chances of being physically robbed. To be sure, the current crisis has not yet led many countries other than China to disinfect, destroy, and reprint their currencies. But COVID-19 could turn out to be a once-in-a-century pandemic, as Bill Gates recently warned in a commentary for the New England Journal of Medicine. A once-in-a-century pathogen would demand once-in-a-century solutions. An obvious place to start is to accelerate the inevitable shift toward digital payments. If you enjoyed this video and would like to see more, hit the like and subscribe button to be alerted as more articles of interest videos are posted. Be sure to visit my Denarian blog for all of today's articles of interest and find me on Facebook as I also post them on there as well. Pick up your free trial copy of the newly upgraded Currency Exchange Planner and check out the all-new Exchange Planner Companion before you leave. Use the promo code, the Denarian, to get 25% off at checkout when you decide to unleash the full planner's abilities, along with the mobile application added free for being my subscriber. Register today as an affiliate with the Gold Savings Carrot Bar program. If you do not keep your savings in a real asset like gold, you risk everything as the fiat system fails. Protect your family's wealth today in physical gold, as tomorrow may be too late. This program is made so even low-income people can buy gold, by offering it one gram at a time, which makes it affordable to everyone. Get involved today. It's free to register and secure your family's savings tomorrow. All of the links to these invaluable programs are available in the description box below this video. Go check them out. Knowledge is power. Over and out. The Denarian.